All right, y'all, welcome back to the Truth Seeker Network. I'm in the backyard again, and I'm down here with this uh, spaghetti squash plant. And when I got some aluminum foil right here, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of these bottom leaves off this plant, like some of these old leaves, like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these back, and peel all this back. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wrap it with aluminum foil so I can protect it from the the vine boards. That's not an egg right there, but yeah, they'll be coming out pretty soon. Either this, at the end of this month, and I want to go ahead and have this stuff protected before they even get a chance to do what they do, lay their little brown, they put little brown little eggs on the side. And if you look carefully, examine your plants, you'll see like a little brown spot on there. It's actually like a little, little brown egg that they, they deposit on the plants. And they deposit them on the stems. And that little, that little uh, egg will hatch like seven days, something like that. And that little vine borer will bore into your plant. And it'd be real small at first and he'd just be in there just chewing away eating. And next thing you know, you come out, like I said, and your plant is, is, is drooping over. And by that time, a lot of times it's too late. You can still try to mend the plant if you can. But a lot of times when you go inside, you see that that vine borer has eaten out the whole inside of that plant. And especially if it goes down by the roots down here, if it gets that, if it gets this stem right here, that's the whole plant, you know. And the only thing you can try to do is try to cover cover some of your plant with dirt, like drop it down, and then hopefully that it will, it will reroot itself. But if it don't reroot itself, um, it's not gonna make it. And um, the truth is, it's hard to get it to reroot after that. So, just try to get out there early as you can and just kind of cover your plants up. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna peel these leaves off. I'm gonna pop this out the way. All these bottom leaves, I'm taking them all out. Just go ahead and pop them off the plant. Take it on out the way. So I can wrap that aluminum foil like I want to. This is actually a new stem that's coming out. A little branch. Let's see. Yeah, this is a new branch right here. There's a flower. It's a male flower right here. It's coming out. Another male flower. I'm gonna leave the flowers, but I'm just gonna make sure I cover this base of this plant. That's the old. Let's make sure everything is still good. Cause you might think you can come in here and you might think you got your plant covered nicely. You know, I'm excited. You got a hole in the ground. So just be really careful. All right, so let me get some aluminum foil around here. I'm just gonna wrap this plant at the bottom. I'm gonna wrap it all down here. I'm gonna cut this off. It's an old. I wanna get all this wrapped nice and good because I don't want the vine borers. And see, that's why I planted this uh, spaghetti squash earlier. I was hoping that it came up early so that uh, I can get a hand I get it, you know, to grow already. See, it's already fruiting already. Fruits are already coming on here. So that's what I was hoping for, to kind of get an early start. So I can get them in an advanced stage already. The, the plant is in an advanced stage. Because last, the, the last year I tried to do it, <laughs> those things, they were just eating my plant up. I and mean, they were laying eggs everywhere. They were laying them on this part of the stem. They were even laying them on the, in, on the branches right here. So it was it was just it was just crazy. And you spend all that effort and time to make your plants, you know, get your plants together, and these things come along and just destroy the whole plant. 
All right, so let me go ahead and wrap this. So you see what I did? So what I did, I wrapped the plant. I took a little floor and I wrapped it all around it. At the boss, at the base of the plant. And I went a little higher than it, you know. Then what they said to do, I put it a little higher up. I just want to make sure this thing don't come down in here and get this plant at all. But then I'm going to cover this up right here. Just cover it up with this, these grass clippings. So he come on down trying to try to get a little something to eat. I mean, try to lay his egg down there. He won't have nowhere to lay it. So at a force there, that will force it to lay his egg up here higher up somewhere. And then I can be able to see it. And as long as I watch this main branch right here, this is the main branch. Um, let's see this one. Yeah, but this is the main uh, branch right here. So I have to keep an eye on this main branch right here. Cause that's, that's, that's basically controlling the whole plant. If I keep an eye on that, you know, I can pretty much can stop them. So I can stop them from actually doing damage to my plants. And that's exactly what I plan on doing this year. You know, especially when doing the times that they're out, because there'll be dozens and dozens of these things that come out. So just because you came out one day, don't think you got it, you know, the first day. Don't think you uh, actually got it. You know, you say, oh yeah, I, I killed, I took the egg off of there. Because trust me, you come back tomorrow, and if you if you walk the rest of if you walk away for the rest of that week, you come back tomorrow and or you come back a week later and you have a whole bunch of eggs on your plant if not already vine borers already uh, born into your plant already so you don't want to do that you definitely don't want to do that because those things are active and they are keep coming back them females are keep coming back laying eggs they keep come back laying these eggs on your plant and they are relentless. It's like there's tons of them out there. So this this one's got to come off. You see, so I'm exposing that, uh, I'm just exposing the branch at the bottom. Now, I'm not gonna let these go to waste. These can be composted. Now, let me see. All these can be composted, these leaves. So I'm just gonna get down in here. I just want the leaves out the way. Plus to give it a little airflow for the plant. That's some air coming here. Take all these leaves out. And on this one too. I'll take this off. Off the main stalk. See that? All these leaves got the way. And now I can do what I have to do. Go ahead and put this stuff around the, the, bottom, the base of the plant right here. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now it's just a matter of wrapping the aluminum foil. It's hard to do this with my hand, y'all. <laughs> just trying to show you what I did. You just wrap it. It's, it's not even hard. Just wrap it around there. Just wrap the aluminum foil around the base of the plant. Just so you don't have to put it too tight either. This so. Uh, Give it air to breathe, right? This so that the, the vine borer, cause they like to come down, just lay their egg real quick, and then touch the plant and go. But he won't be able to touch it on that aluminum foil down there. So let's be able to wrap it. Come on in and wrap it around the plant. Get that base nice. And we good to go.
and then I want to bring it all the way down to the ground. If you don't want them coming down, see if you can find your root, then he, he, he'll get you. Cause he'll come down a little bit lower than you. <laughs> and you did all that work for nothing. So just get as low as you can. Now, bury that under the ground. Mr. Vine Boy cannot get my plant. He can't come in and, and, and destroy my plant. So there you go. So I'll just show you the end result when I get done. All right? All right, y'all. So there you go. That's the end results right there. So, yeah. It should be protected now. At least the Vine Boy won't be able to go down and kill the whole plant and get down. If it lays an egg on one of these other branches, then I can just simply go in the branch and take it out. But what I'm planning on doing this season is just to go out and check my plant every other day or, or every few days and just look and see if any brown spots. Oh, also, if I see the, the, the vine board back here flying around, of course I'm gonna kill it. All right, so, and that'll be that. Yeah, the, the garden and everything is doing pretty good. I just do a little quick pan over this side, and y'all can see it. It's looking good. Y'all remember how everything used to look? You know, like I told y'all, it didn't, it wasn't looking like nothing at all at first. But yeah, they the, the got bell peppers on the plants and banana peppers. Got baby cucumbers back over there on the plant. It's like everything just came out all of a sudden. Yeah, I, I, re, I dug the ground back there because I'm gonna let those sweet potatoes grow and I'm gonna get them under the ground on that side too. I might even put some more spaghetti squash over that side and put a couple of more seeds down in that corner. Yeah, the cantaloupe plant looking good. Watermelons are starting to spread. Of course, I'm gonna have to go in here and move some of these watermelons out. And I'm just going ahead. I hate to do that, but I gotta go, you know, pick the ones I need. And then the other ones, I'm gonna have to just take them out. All right, y'all, so that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And that's how you do it. Get rid of the vine borers by putting that aluminum foil at the bottom so they can't kill your plant. They like zucchini, they like they like squash plants, right? They're going there, they just they decimate your whole plant. Alright, peace till next time. And I'm out.